postponed. Well, no, yeah, no, it's their schedule. So if we can't make it, then you don't go to the interview. Oh well, too oh, bad. Wow. So, so, and then I get an email from the principal saying, "Okay, Lem, formal inter uh, formal observations again." And I go, "Oh, what son of a!" For teaching, we always get formal observations where they don't they come into your classroom. And they critique you, and I mean they critique you from A to Z, right? So I'm thinking, crap, this is not my classroom. This is a classroom I'm in, like subbing, and then this is not the kids. I don't have 30 kids in front of me. This is all virtual, right? And then these are not my lessons. I'm working with the teachers. I'm working with four teachers to create a lesson, right? So totally different dynamic, and she goes, you know, the usual three, which is fine. Last year, I got observed three times. Teachers don't like it, just to let you know, because it's freaking hard. <laughs> They'll rate you. You can get ousted if you don't, you're not supposed to do what you're not supposed to do, right? But most likely, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, they'll keep you. It's just they critique you to the point where you're like, if you're not strong enough, it's not good. You like self-esteem, you know, and all that crap. Even the best of teachers don't like it. It's crazy, right? So it gets to people. So now I'm thinking, son of a man. So I emailed the IPC lady and I said, hey, you know what? <laughs> this year is totally different. This is not normal, you know? So how do you guys do your observations at this school? And then she goes, oh, okay, well, just do what you've been doing. And I go, this is not, it's like, Last year, Daniel, it's like, man, if I wrote you a novel, right, last year, if I wrote you a novel on how to play Fortnite, right, this year, the way I'm teaching, it's like, here's a half a paragraph synopsis of how to do Fortnite. So where are you going to cram all of that hundred, two hundred dollars of, I mean, pages of knowledge into a half a paragraph? That's, and then she goes, yeah, well, we'll talk about it on Friday. And I go, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to take Friday off. So now I'm trying to figure out how to maneuver it with if I have to go to work, you know, and then interview at work and then just tell one of the classes, hey guys, we're going to end shortly. I've got an appointment, whatever, whatever. I just don't want any other teacher knowing that I did that. Do I take a day off? But then her information might be good. So that's where I'm at right now. I mean, I have an idea already what to do. It's just, it all came crashing down. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, crap. I thought no observations this year, you know, because of COVID, but it's required by the district to see if you're, you know, good enough to come back next year, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay. And then I'm in the back of my mind, Every school has an impact teacher, right? Me and Carrie at Marshall last year, they've been using her for six years. You know what I mean? <laughs> they've been using her for six years at Marshall. This year, they couldn't use me because they only had to hire one teacher. And I said, that's fine. That's fine. And I'm thinking, this school, Juliet Lowe, according to the principal, they had two or three. I think she said three last year, right? Guess what? None of those teachers were brought back. None. Zero. So they hired me. So I'm thinking, son of a... <laughs> How hard this is school-like grade. Which is fine. Again, it's just throwing me off. Because, you know. I'm used to... Hold on. A bunch of people here. You're dead, robot. Idiot. What oh, you said? Life? So that's where I'm at. Which is fine. Whatever. Something I have to do. It's just... You know what I mean? When you're not expecting it. 
I'm like, man. It That's what's like, happening. Um, it sounds like you being at work and doing that, it sounds like a definite conflict of interest. You are applying for another school at a current while you're already at this job, so they they have to see you in your element? I mean like can you be can you be at another school or it has to be that classroom? I uh, no no the principal no the principal is at this school, the principal I'm working at. She has to see me in my classroom because you know she works here. The uh, the interview nothing to do with anything. It's just do I, I was going to take the day off, right? <laughs> so I can be at home and I can study or whatever, but then okay. the IPC ladies like, "Well, for your observation next week, Lem, we can talk about it on Friday." And I can give you some pointers, whatever, blah blah blah. Okay. And I'm thinking, "Oh, man." <laughs> and, that, and that's your that's your home school, right? That's that's the Yeah, that's position. the home school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no. I, I thought it was worse. I thought it was the new job, Juliet Lowe, wants to see you in your classroom, in your element. And I was like, oh, that's conflict of interest. Um, no? Uh, no, no. They, uh, no, I mean, they come in already and see me. They know okay. what I can do. It's just... Okay, no. I mean, yeah. Just make up an excuse that you need Friday off, you know, and just reschedule it. You, you, that's not too bad, you know? Yeah, well, no, the thing is, uh, she wants to do it on Tuesday, and if it's a lot of stuff and planning, I want to do it over the weekend. Because okay. if I reschedule on Monday for the IPC lady, and she goes, okay, Lem, you got to do this, do that, one day is not enough. What about Because she's going to observe me on Tuesday. You, what about you? Would Wednesday be an option? That way you get Wednesday and Thursday to take care of it? No. She said, the principal said Tuesday or Thursday. And, okay. of course, I don't work on Thursday. So it'd have to be Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday. Yep, which is fine. It's just all of these things all came up, you know, the interview. Or, or take the bullet and come in on Thursday unless they're like, no, you can't because this is your day off. Well, no, because there's no kids on Thursday. She has oh, to no. observe me with kids, yeah. Oh, no, well, you could, you do what you got to do, and you're going to take that Friday off so that you can interview for Juliet Lowe. And then, uh, yeah, well, we'll see. Now I, I I don't know if I could take Friday off because if I need to go talk to her, <laughs> what do you, you mean? know what I mean? What if you just said you weren't feeling well? If you called out, they would have to cancel it no matter what. Um, that's just the truth of the matter. I mean, if you could no, the IPC, the lady, my lady, the one that I work with, she could, she's fine. If I say I can't do it on Friday, she'll do it on Monday. But the thing was for me is, if there's a lot of stuff for this school when it comes to observations, I don't what not I don't one day is not going to be enough. Like that Monday night, that's going to be way too much information. For me to do stuff for Tuesday, right? Well, the interview. If I don't go on Friday, it's gone. Yeah, there's no. Well, well, you're zero. taking. You're taking. Well, what I'm hearing is you're taking the interview on Friday. That's a done matter. As far yeah. as it's Tuesday, you know, say Jeff Bruticus does have different levels, and you just have to elevate it and take care of it. Man. That's. You just yeah. Have to do well, it, that's the. It that's it. Yeah, that's the. Or on, what is that? Or you let go of the interview on Friday, but I mean, I don't think you. It doesn't sound like you want to do that. So. No, I can't because, I mean, we don't know a, if this is a quota, an actual or a job. Or gig, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to. I mean, from what the lem I remember, he doesn't even need sleep. You know. So <sighs> you'll get it done on. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, well, that's exactly what I thought last year. Usually, I don't. You don't you know? sleep. Sleep is for mortals. You can sleep when you're dead. Done. I am like... Hold on. There's a dude over here. Usually, I'm like... My brain is like A+. plus, Right? So, last year... <laughs> I'm like, eh, I've been observed before. I've been observed by a lot of principals. You know, my other job, this and that. When I, had, when I worked as a teacher's aide for three years, a principal observed me all the time. Formal, blah, blah, blah. I've done it. So last year when I got in, interviewed, I mean, <laughs> formal, first time as a teacher, no, didn't go well. It was bad. <laughs> it was bad, dude. I mean, not bad, but not to my usual, do you know what I mean? Well, I mean, now you have motivation to, to nail it. You know, failure is not an option. 
Yeah, so that's somehow. why I just got to figure out how this school does their observation. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. It's just... It might even work in your favor, okay? I, I'm just throwing ideas out. It might even work in your favor because you are not in the traditional conventional environment. This is COVID times, so it would be very unfair if they were expecting you to write that novel of 2019 yeah. when it's now 2021. I mean, the storyline and the narrative has completely changed, you know? So, shame on yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, shame on a part of me is thinking exactly, Wolfsburg, you know? A part, what the heck is that? A part of me is thinking exactly that, but the other part of me, the straight A guy, <laughs> is not going to accept anything less. So that's the problem. Okay. I'm thinking, it's it's so because the way the IPC lady is like, oh no, just do what you want. But I'm like, no, not the way I grew up and not the way Marshall taught me. Marshall taught me like A plus, like honors, like you know. You don't just write a book report, one paper. Do you know what I mean? You write right. a ten-page book report as opposed to the one page. So if this school is telling me to do a one-page book report, my A-plus brain doesn't think like that. My A-plus brain is thinking, give me a 10-page report. Whether they read the other nine pages, it's you, it, it's up to you. But you need to do A-plus. And then they may be like, oh, why did he do that? You well, don't need to do that. Well, there you have it then. You follow your gut instinct. You do more than what is asked, and you won't have any regrets. You've already solved your own problem. That's it. You know? Yeah, Don't and then, well, that's, yourself. like I said, I already know deep down inside, like, what I need to do. It's just the interview on Friday and then this one. It's just all coming in at once instead of, like, focusing coming, on just one thing. It's coming in a wave, know? Slim. So it's just like yeah. Fortnite. You're killing one by one by one. You know, you got it. I yeah, thought, I mean. I thought Juliet Lowe wanted to see you in your current setup. And I, that's when I was like, dude, that's crazy. Oh, well, no, no, well, no, it's just the Riverside people. I can be in anywhere. I can be at home. I could be at school. The thing is, if I do an interview at school, they're going to go, are you in a classroom? <laughs> what do I say? Yeah, I'm in a temporary contract. And next thing you know, guess what? Ooh, no, that that's a problem because we we want somebody that can start right away. If you get a contract, it's this. It'll take a while, and you know that's problems already. That it's always been like that from then till now. So that's the other dilemma. I'm like, crap. Where do I do? I go to my car. I can't. I'm in the classroom teaching, and I have to tell them, okay, guys, <laughs> we can't do class right now. And then I run out to my car. Teacher sees me. You're not supposed to be in your car. Blah. You know, so many. So, yeah, I mean, I just got to think of the logistics of it. But luckily, tomorrow I have off. I can better assess the situation. You know? It's just a lot of stuff. Well, what about you, man? What did they say? Anything new from the other job? I mean, your job? Well, um... Sorry. Or USC or anything? Sorry, I mean the heat of battle a little bit. Oh, uh, shoot. Okay, okay, you do um, your thing. Well, once, let me... Uh... No, no, focus until you die. Or you win. I know my shift is from 8 to 4.30. I start on Monday. 8 to 4.30. So every day is going to be 8 to 4.30. Um, I am in training for about one month. And, One uh, month? Okay, so February to March. And that's all I know for now. Um, I set up everything. Um, I'm all set to go. They were supposed to provide me with, um, with the password and everything on um, Monday, that day of, but... Um, you know me, I was able to contact IT and get the password earlier than I was supposed to. So I'm actually already pre-logging into my system and setting everything up. So I have the computer set up the way I want it. So basically it's going to be three week training. Um, I'm at home, it's 8 to 40, 30 gig. And we'll just see what happens. I'm considering Irvine now, Dana Point, Laguna Niguel. I'm getting yeah, because I mean that's eight to four. Hmm. But uh, 
Because the train, you said, leaves at 8. Yeah, but there's a lot of waiting and stuff, you know? There's a lot of waiting, so it doesn't matter. But um, we'll continue this in a little bit because I got five. I got five okay, yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
this is how we do it. Dun, 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 nah, nah, nah.